Big spooky ghost! Where the fuck was I? What color is your pubic hair? Uh, it is black, unfortunately. What is your opinion of the new YouTube subscription bar? There's a new YouTube subscription bar. If there is, I haven't seen it. And if, uh, it's, I don't like the YouTube format the way it is right now. I, I was totally content with it, like, a year ago. And then they changed it up, and now everything's all screwed up, and I could go on for days about why YouTube sucks, and I'm not going to. What do you think would happen if you survived a trip through a black hole in space? Well, you wouldn't survive, first of all. Uh, black holes are massive. You'd probably be crushed instantly. Um, but, uh, I don't think... Uh, I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't know enough about black holes to speculate or anything like that, or else I'll look like a total fucking retard to people who actually do know what they're talking about, which I don't. So I'm not going to touch that one. Sorry, huh? How do I slap face? Ha 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 ha. Why don't you get a girlfriend? Because I had one and uh, I'm a total dick and I don't deserve women. Lol, how so? Uh, it's not, they're just talking to each other again. Okay, I guess half of this is just people talking to each other. Like, there aren't as many questions as I thought. Wow, this guy asked like 20 questions. Let's, let's, let's do all, all these with like one word responses. Can you drive? No. A problem. Well, Shit, I have to <laughs> elaborate. I probably could drive, I just haven't yet because I don't want to and I have no need to get a driver's license at the moment. When I need to drive to other places, I will. There's a bear shit in the words, yes, are you happy? Yes, what, who is your last girlfriend? A girl named I th Rebecca. Uh, why the fuck did I think Catherine was my girlfriend? She wasn't my girlfriend. She was a bitch. What was your girlfriend's name? I just told you Rebecca. Can you make me happy? No. Do you want to be my homie? No. Would you ever play WoW again in O-Nubs? Probably, maybe one day in like three years to see if it's come along anywhere. Would you consider doing another cooking video? Yes. Would you buy the Star Wars MMO coming out? Probably, maybe. Maybe? No. I know a few people are. Do you even like Star Wars? Hell no. Are indie games fun? Yes. Do you have a Facebook? Yes, only to, to like, to... Uh, don't... Okay. I said yes, but I don't have an actual Facebook that has everything of mine on it. No, no, no. I have a Facebook because everyone on my fucking... Everybody has a Facebook. Every fucking person on this planet has a Facebook. And every time I talk to them, they're like, Hey, did you see this picture of blah, 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 blah? And it's like, well, no, I haven't. Why don't you link it to me? You need a Facebook account in order to see this picture. Fuck. So I made a Facebook account so I can see stuff. That's enough of your stupid questions. I'm going to the next person. If I was a badger and the world was about to end, I would offer you shelter to survive in my badger hole with my family. Would you join us? What three things do you bring with you? That's stupid as hell. That's a, that's a, a an interesting question, but I'm not going to answer it because it's stupid as hell still. As long as your penis about six inches is boring as hell. Ooh, six inch penis. Ooh, I'm a big special guy. Um, how much do you hate YouTubers? I'm a YouTuber. I hate myself, so I guess I hate them a lot. Are you scared of me? No. Would you play Com Battlefield Bad Company 2? Maybe. I vaguely remember you promising one. I was going to... Okay, I never promised anything ever. I just said it was a video idea because uh, I was running out of video ideas, and I was like, eh, I could make a Battlefield Black Company 2 video, but I haven't touched that game in about two months. Even though I own it, I, I own a hard copy of it. So I probably could. What's your favorite boob size? My favorite boob size is kind of booby. What do you think of the laws of drugs prohibition? Uh, laws against drugs are stupid. Everybody should be able to do anything whenever they want all the time, except killing people, which is obviously not good. Don't kill people. Because if you do, you must face the consequences of killing people. It's innate within every human being. Uh, if imagine there's no heaven, heaven, and it's really easy to try. Blah, blah blah. Okay. If you horse could fly, why am I? I can't talk straight. Hold on. Let me get my thoughts together because I'm I'm not speaking correct sentences here. <sighs> okay. I think I can speak in correct sentences now. Let's try again. If a horse could fly, would that make it a uh, horse fly? No, it would make it a horse that flies. Dumbass. Would you... When you stopped playing WoW, did you give all your gold away to a gnome named Norman? Mm, I think... Uh, I don't know. I think I gave all my stuff away, but I don't think I gave it to Norman. Uh, what's your top five favorite movies? Oh, God. Okay, I wouldn't be able to come up with a list like that just immediately because, first of all, I'm not a movie guy. I don't watch movies ever. There's tens of thousands of other things I'd rather be doing than watching movies. But if I were to come up with a list, it would involve some generic stupid shit that everyone's seen, like Lord of the Rings 
or fucking uh, Dark Knight, stuff like that. You know, just not interesting at all. Not worth mentioning. Fucking magnets, how do they work? I don't remember. Stephen Hawking is saying that if we don't venture out into the universe and begin to colonize other planets, the human race will become extinct. It's true, it will. He says that our genes carry aggressive and selfish instincts that in order, to race to th in order for us to thrive, space colonization is a must. He also explains how our low, how low our natural resources have become. Well, it's true, they have. Will we be able to reach this goal before the human race destroys the planet that we still undoubtedly depend on before it's too late? We are not going to destroy this planet. No. The sun is going to destroy this planet. The sun is going to stop... I uh, don't remember the word. Fusing one chemical into another chemical. And that's why it's so bright and awesome all the time. It's going to stop doing that in like 4 billion years, 5 billion years, I don't remember. And then it's going to grow. It's going to grow and then it's going to d completely just fuck Earth up. That's why I have a love-hate relationship with the sun. Every time I see it, it's like, oh, it's so beautiful, oh, sunsets, oh, things are so pretty, and, you know, it makes the clouds pink and stuff like that. But then I, I realize in the back of my mind, wait, that's the thing that's going to destroy this planet in 4 billion years. What am I doing? I hate you. Fuck you. Yeah, so I don't like the sun. I hate the sun. Fuck the sun. Even though I know we wouldn't be anywhere without it. It's like an Academy Award. Wouldn't be anywhere without you, the sun. I was staring at the sun while that I was doing that, so I... Hold on. Okay, now I can read. Um, when you were a little kid, how did you get out of trouble or doing work? I pretended to be sick, which is what every little kid does. And I was very, very, very good at it. Very good at pretending to be sick. If you were born deaf, what language do you think in? Probably the same language that you read in. Um, if you learn to read. Uh, Slappa, what is your favorite Pokemon? I like Metacham. How gay are gay gays? They're homosexual, to say the least. I eat Pop Rocks and Soda. Will my, if I eat Pop Rocks and Soda, will my stomach explode? No. How can you stand doing Q&As with questions like this? I don't know. Oh, it's Computer Box. I haven't seen him in a while. Has being on YouTube changed your life or the way you think? Uh, being on YouTube hasn't. Watching people on YouTube definitely has. Uh, I wouldn't have to have an account on YouTube to watch people. Um, you know, like, The Amazing Atheist early stuff has totally changed my way of thought. Uh, I wouldn't have discovered George Carlin without the internet. I wouldn't have discovered, you know, people who, who just told me to, you know, be clear about the way I think and talk, which I'm not really doing so at the moment. How can you, okay, can you please make a last episodes of Warcraft stories, please? No, nipple for nipple, no, how many, how many, how much, how much, okay, I can't talk. I need to, I need to slow down. I'm trying to talk too fast because I'm trying to rush this, but I end up fucking it up. So let's just slow down a little bit. How much pelvic thrusting do you do in a day? Probably 20. Why put these videos up if you're going to get stupid questions like this one? I don't know, something to do. Do you own pets? If so, how many and how cute? I own one kitty. And he is a violent asshole who chops my right hand up on a daily basis. Hmm. I like this new slow tempo I'm going in. Let's, let's continue. By internet man, do you mean that you come from the internet or that you are currently located in the internet? Or that, less interestingly, you are merely using the internet. Also, have you ever had a man crush? Be honest. On Edward Norton. I don't know who that is. And by internet man, I mean I don't have a physical form to manifest into your puny world called Earth, so I uh, am a consciousness thriving on the internet. If you were sent 55 million light years away from Earth and looked back saying, saying that you could see the surface, would you see dinosaurs? Uh, I think that's how physics works. I don't know. Maybe space time. Yeah, probably. If I was just instantly sent there, which you know would never happen. Uh, if you could place, oh, hmm, yeah, let's answer this one. If you could place the points of a three-way teleporter that could teleport anybody or anything at any one of the other two points, where would you position the three points? Their points must be on this planet. Also, the same question again without the limitation of being on this planet. Also, and you don't have to go to places without a teleporter being placed there. Okay. Um, I would place one teleporter at my house so I could, you know, have access to it. Um, no, never mind. I'd, I'd place it around my house. 
so I could easily access it in you know, a secret kind of place. Well, then again, if people using the other teleporters, this is a, that's a good question. I haven't. That's great. If if people ask questions like this more often, I'd you know have <laughs> some material to work with. Uh, I'd place one teleporter uh, on this planet uh, at the in Egypt, because that's a good place. It's a place everybody wants to visit one of these days, and it's a good way to get from either Africa to Europe to Asia. You know, you can just drive there from there somewhere somehow. Uh, I'd place another teleporter somewhere in North America, obviously. I'd probably place it in, uh, probably at Mount St. Helens. Yeah, that's a good place, because then, eh, no. No, no, I don't know. That's a good question. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. I've wasted way too much time on a question that I didn't even answer. I'm terribly sorry. Slapa, I heard that one of your favorite games was populous at the beginning. Please tell me you enjoyed it so much. It is. It's one of my favorite games of all time, obviously. How often do you masturbate? Would you masturbate to save your life? Yes, yes. Yeah, I was your, I was with you, Oblivion. Let's play from the beginning. I know you already made a video somewhat like this, but I think you could do a Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I think that'd be pretty cool. I also recall you saying you've played Fallout already. Yeah, I'm not going to play Fallout New Vegas unless... No, I'm still not going to do it. Never mind. Screw Fallout New Vegas. Screw it! Screw it! DLC! Who gives a shit? Ooh, I made a successful video game. Hmm, they want me to make a sequel. Oh, that's too much work. Let's just do a DLC that you have to pay for still. DLC is too lazy to make a new client. Too lazy to make a new game itself. I'm just gonna make a DLC, that also known as Dumb Lazy Contraption. I just made that up. I'm kind of cool. One, if there was an entity in the universe, but no other entities in the universe know exactly... Oh my god... <laughs> And who was phone? I don't know. I'm probably Al Capone. Does Captain Crunch give you the shit? I haven't had Captain Crunch since I was five. When people ask really lame questions like, do you have any pets? What goes through your head? Um, I, the answer to those questions. Typically, that's, that's what goes through my head. Raffle now when you jerk off question and stuff already been coming. I ask a question I always wanted to ask. How long is your cock biatch? As I answered that already. You know what? I need to take a break. Yeah, I need to take a break. My head hurts. Badly. I'll be back shortly.